Hello, welcome to this PowerPoint games tutorial on how to make a minefield game for one or more players. This is how the game will play. The aim is to link the hexagons from left to right, across the board, without clicking on a mine if you can. A red hexagon will appear with a bomb sound if you step on a mine. You must click on adjacent hexagons to mark your trail across the minefield. If you step on any mines, you can count how many at the end, and try to do better next time. As a multiplayer game, you can add up the number of mines hit, with the winner being the player who has stepped on the least number of mines. Another alternative is for one player to link the hexagons until a mine is hit. Then it's the opponent's turn. The winner will then be the player who is in control of the clicking when the final green hexagon is clicked. Now let's see how this game can be made. If you are not already in widescreen format, change the design of the slide to be in 16 to 9 format, which works best for this game. Now you can choose any kind of background fill that you want to use. Here, I'm going to choose a solid grey color. Open the Home tab and start by making your first hexagon from the Shapes menu. You will want to fit 7 of these in a column going down the slide, so don't make your first one too big or too small. Give it a fill color of your choice, and maybe add a bevel, to make it a little more interesting. Now open the Animations tab. Select your hexagon, then add the Emphasis animation, to change the fill color, to a bright green, when clicked. What we are going to do is add all the animations needed to this first hexagon. After this, it will just be a matter of copying, pasting, and positioning. Now open the Animation pane. Click on the animation in the Animation pane, then click on Trigger. Set the animation to be triggered by the hexagon itself. You can check it out in slideshow mode. On playback, the color change looked a little slow, so I'll set the duration of the color change to 1 second. Now we want to copy and paste the hexagons until we have made up the complete minefield. For the first column you can use Ctrl and D to duplicate the hexagon. When you move the duplicate to its required position, Ctrl and D will duplicate it in the same relative position. Now press and hold down your cursor, then drag it across the whole column. This will select all of the hexagons for more copying and pasting. First though, from the Arrange menu, it can be a good idea to align the hexagons using Align Center and Distribute Vertically. Now hold and drag your cursor to select all but one of the hexagons. Copy, paste and position these to fit adjacent to the first column in the center. This is now all about the copying and pasting as you will see. I'll speed up the video so you'll get the overall view of how it's done. I'm positioning these by eye. You can use the arrange and align tools to position them more precisely if you want. So here is the complete field. Now we need some mines. The more mines you have, the more difficult the game is to play. For this game I'm using 15 mines, so I select the 15 hexagons that I want to change into mines. I'm spacing them all around the field. These had a fill color change to green. Now this must be changed to red.
Here are the 15 mines. Now with all the mines still selected, find the animation with the little black arrow next to it. Click on this, then, Effect Options. Now click for the drop-down menu for sounds, and click on, Bomb. Let's look in slideshow mode to see how it works. The basic minefield game is now complete. You may however want to have a number of different minefields, with the mines in different positions. Here's how to do this. Select the first slide in the preview pane. Right click, and then click on duplicate slide. Now drag the cursor across the slide to select all the hexagons. In the Animations tab, make all of the color fills change to green again when clicked. With them all still selected, click on the little arrow in the Animation pane, then click on Effect Options and select No Sound from the drop-down menu. Now click on this slide in the preview pane and duplicate this slide as well. You now have two new minefields. Duplicate again, and again, until you have five or six minefields. We are now ready to select another 15 hexagons to be the next group of mines. Do this just like before. I've speeded up the video a little here. Don't forget to add the bomb sound effect. Now repeat the process to lay down the mines, for all the minefields you have made. When you have all the completed minefields, before you play, you can drag and drop the slides in the preview pane to shuffle them up. You can then choose one of them to play. This way, you never know which minefield is being played. Finally, open the slideshow tab and click on Setup Slideshow. Then select the Browsed at a Kiosk Show Type option. This will prevent your cursor disappearing, or ending the game prematurely if you inadvertently click on a blank part of the slide. Now you are ready to play. So there you have it, a series of minefield games for you to play solo or against one or more opponents. Thank you for watching this PowerPoint Games video. Please like, subscribe, comment, and hit the notifications bell. Also, feel free to visit the website to see all the other games and tutorials we have for you.